Hello, welcome again. So in the previous video, I had given you some aspects of uh, term symbols of diatomic molecules and uh, even at the end, five questions were provided to you. I hope uh, you all have tried uh, solving those questions and you have answers with you. So now I am giving you solutions for uh, all those uh, five questions uh, along with the explanation. So those you have, uh, those who have not watched my previous video, please watch that that uh, my previous video, and you can try all those questions, and then you can watch this video. Fine. Uh, let us uh, begin with the question. Okay. Uh, the first question. I should go with the first. Yeah, this was the first question. Uh, one thing. So this question, if you look at uh, electronic configuration, whatever they have uh, written, so they have written it uh, a bit different way. Uh, but you know, carefully nodidri and theel andre it is electronic configuration of B2 molecule. This is nothing but electronic configuration of B2 molecule. Say this is sigma 1s2, this is sigma star 1s2. In conventional method, we write the sigma star 1s2, then sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2, right? So for boron atom uh, B2 molecule, it will be like this pi molecular orbitals they come down. So therefore, it will be pi u1 and uh, pi u1 itara agatha. That electronic configuration they have given. So in fact, uh, uh, morning nano O2 and then again here it, uh, it should have been B2. Uh, there was a mistake in my previous video. Those who have used the, the link that I had provided, literally O2 and then again to corrections uh, incorporate again lila. In fact, it, it should have been B2. So other new madi diri and then straight away you have a solution with you, right? So I mean, public ke video upload madi or the corrections bage note haaki dini, but uh, morning nan kalsiro link use madi kondi ar note diri. Aur ek O2 and then again in fact that should have been now. Uh, uh, B2, please note this change. Fine. Okay, now uh, again, the solution here of the two and three and see pi u and pi u that they have given pi u, pi u, koti dara. I can just distribute the electrons in this way plus one, minus one, I can distribute it. And the capital lambda value, capital lambda value, it will be zero for this. Uh, plus one, minus one, uh, if we take, it will be zero. Then capital S value, it will be one. So this is not necessary uh, for two unpaired electrons it will be triplet spin multiplicity and for capital lambda value zero corresponding term is sigma right so here they have mentioned that both are ungirate so u into u if we take u into u it will be g right so out of these two one will be minus with respect to plane of symmetry the other one it will be plus so if to understand this please watch my previous video uh, there it has been clearly explained about uh, this uh, minus and plus with respect to um, plane of symmetry so minus into plus if you consider minus so therefore in this case answer it should be this triplet sigma g so triplet sigma g i hope uh, it's option c this one option c is the answer for this triplet sigma g minus okay Let's go to the next question okay it's uh, observe the following electronic transitions of a diatomic molecule this is just based on selection rules if we know the selection rules uh, we can answer this question very easily. So for your reference, I am giving the selection rules here. So just based on these selection rules, you are supposed to verify which is allowed and which is not allowed. See, first one you can readily eliminate singlet to triplet transition, which is not allowed according to this selection rule. Spin multiplicity, if at all changing, in that case, you cannot say that transition to be allowed. So option or A, or not option A, A transition, whatever they have given, that is not allowed. So come to this. So here, if you look at, Singlet to singlet transition. So singlet to singlet it is allowed. Sigma to sigma delta lambda that will be zero. So therefore that is also allowed. Then plus to plus. So this also allowed. You can find the selection rule here. Right. Then finally it is U to G. So this B transition whatever they have given it is allowed. So with uh, uh, respect to all selection rules it is allowed. So therefore this should be allowed transition. Come to transition C. This is singlet to singlet, so which is allowed according to this selection rule. Delta S, it allows this transition. Delta S is equal to 0 here. Next one, if you look at, it is delta to sigma transition. So delta, if you remember, it corresponds to capital lambda value of 2, whereas sigma, it corresponds to capital lambda value of 0. So difference, if you take, difference, it is by 2 units. But here, delta lambda, According to selection rule, it should be 0 or plus or minus 1. Since this is 2, definitely this transition should be forbidden. Though other aspects they are allowing this transition, this selection rule, first selection rule, whatever I have written here, that is not allowing this transition. Now come to this. So D transition, if you look at, so again it is singlet to singlet allowed. It is pi to sigma 
change in delta lambda value it is by one unit so therefore it is allowed g rate to un g rate g to u that is allowed g to u is allowed and uh, for this uh, plus minus it is not necessary so therefore uh, we need not look at this selection rule it is allowed transition so now if we look at all the transitions out of uh, these transitions say this transition it is not allowed whereas this transition it is allowed again c it is not allowed and d it is allowed so b and d they must be allowed and corresponding option it is this b and d only right whereas here a and c both are forbidden transitions here again a and c we find both are forbidden transitions here also we find a and c which are uh, forbidden transitions so definitely our answer it should be this option b fine let us next question so next question uh, for an electric uh, for an electronic configuration of two non equivalent pi electrons pi 1 pi 1 which of the following terms is not possible right so what they have asked is they have not asked the ground term if they had asked ground term this would have been straight away a ground term of boron and straight away problem has been solved first problem whatever they have solved it is just based on this so other base mele easily then markolik bartittu nimge but what they have asked is which is not possible until kelli that right now what we shall uh, what we shall do is so how if this is possible how it is possible if this is possible triplet sigma is possible how it is possible if this uh, triplet delta is possible how it is possible that we should look at see we can look it in this way so uh, if it if the, the term it has to be singlet sigma so in this way we can arrange the electrons to identical uh, non equivalent pi electrons they can be arranged in this way say uh, for uh, one small lambda value it will be plus 1 and minus 1 so therefore uh, delta value it will be zero sigma term and uh, zero unpaired electron singlet right so though no uh, though this is not a ground state uh, but this term definitely it is possible similarly uh, this exactly it corresponds to ground term so both of them they will have same spin and uh, for two unpaired electrons so spin multiplicity it will be triplet and uh, plus one minus one uh, capital lambda value it will be zero uh, sigma so this is also possible then third one if you look at third one also it is possible though it is uh, uh, violating uh, um, Pauli's exclusion principle but definitely it is possible just they have asked which is possible so if we think that electrons uh, they are having this particular arrangement or uh, say small lambda value orbital angular momentum uh, for both the electrons they are coupling in this way uh, so that the resultant it will be plus one and plus one two so then you can expect definitely delta term and both of them they have got same uh, spin therefore it should be triplet so this is also possible in one way then come to this so what they have given is phi term they have given if they have given phi term uh, the possible electronic arrangement it should be something like this so capital delta value we should get it to be 3 for uh, phi right so that is not at all possible for two identical pi electrons uh, uh, small lambda value uh, then we should have plus 2 and plus 1 then only this phi term it is possible but this is exactly not possible so therefore uh, what we can say is that so in this case this is possible right here we have that possibility this is possible here it has been shown here this is also possible see that possibility has been shown whereas this is not possible because uh, our uh, lambda values they cannot take up this plus 2 and uh, plus 1 total it cannot become uh, plus 3 for 2 pi electrons therefore definitely this is not possible so answer it should be this which they have uh, what they have asked is which is not possible therefore this should be the answer okay next so next question uh, you can read it like this so it is about the first excited state of hydrogen molecule right so hydrogen ground state electronic configuration of hydrogen molecule we know so first excited state electronic configuration is to be written and for that first excited state configuration then we should find out the term symbol so how that can be done uh, you, we can look uh, we can do that in this way see this is ground state electronic configuration sigma 1 s 2 right first excited state one of the electron it will be excited from sigma bonding molecular orbital to sigma antibonding molecular orbital so this is sigma 1 s 1 and sigma star 1 s 1 so this is how uh, we represent uh, uh, conventionally the excited first excited state of hydrogen molecule. now for this configuration uh, we are supposed to determine the term or ground term right so this can be written this way sigma 1s and sigma star 1s both of them they have got one one electron and we, if we know the pairing property sigma bonding molecular orbitals their parity is g and sigma antibonding molecular orbitals their parity is u so this has been taught um, in my previous video all details regarding in connection with this uh, has been given to you so based on that you should be able to uh, work out this so 
Um, then further, um, this this is in connection with plane of symmetry. If you look at sigma, here, here I have drawn, this is the shape of sigma bonding molecular orbital. Definitely you can find a plane of symmetry which uh, uh, bisects the molecular orbital into two equal halves. So therefore, with respect to this, it is uh, plus, right? So then for sigma star also what you can find is, see this plane of symmetry it, uh, exactly bisects these uh, uh, two lobes into equal halves. So therefore, uh, we have a plane of symmetry passing passing through internuclear axis or in other words uh, plane containing internuclear axis it is present in this also sigma star also so therefore with respect to this plus and uh, minus symbol so both of this they are plus now we can come to determine uh, the ground state term see uh, for two unpaired electrons it should be triplet of course here uh, we can think of the other possibility but usually electronic transitions they happen in this way during electron transition there will not be change in spin um, therefore uh, both of them uh, 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 I'm sorry, um, if we consider in ground state, this will be having a opposite spin. So now according to the option uh, we should look at, the other possibilities definitely you can try. So uh, to get the answer, uh, how the possibility should be, that has been shown here. So for uh, two unpaired electrons, uh, triplet spin multiplicity is possible. And uh, this will not change, this term it will not change. So both of them, they have got small lambda value to be zero. And therefore it should be this uh, lambda value it will be zero and it will be sigma term. Then uh, see G into U, that will be U and plus into plus, it will be plus. So answer, it should be triplet sigma U plus. So triplet sigma U plus, it is this option D. So option D is the answer for this question. Okay, last question, come to last question. Uh, the highest molecular orbitals of uh, an excited state electronic configuration of oxygen molecule are. So they have readily given you the electronic configuration. For this electronic configuration, just you are supposed to find out the term symbol molecular orbital term symbol okay how it can be done see right so whatever electronic configuration they have given i have represented is uh, represented it in this way right so um, uh, from where this has come uh, if you can remember the molecular orbital energy level diagram of o2 molecule definitely uh, the last part uh, what i mean to say is uh, the molecular orbitals arising from 2p orbitals they will be following this energy order right so in conventional method this we refer to as uh, say sigma 2pz and this will be conventionally represented as sigma star 2pz sigma bonding sigma anti bonding then we will be having pi bonding and pi anti bonding right uh, but uh, um, in this um, method or in um, uh, the other way this bonding molecular orbital can be represented as sigma g and the anti bonding sigma u and similarly this uh, bonding pi orbital that will be having unjured symmetry so therefore this will be pi u and pi g right so in ground state electronic configuration of oxygen if you remember this electron it lies here right but now what they have given is it is excited state electronic configuration where this electron it has been excited to lumo from here to here right so now if we uh, if we are supposed to determine the ground uh, term symbol so the corresponding electronic configuration it can be written this way the electron which was present here that has been excited here right here also same thing to get the correct answer whatever possibility is there that i have written so you can just uh, uh, try writing the other possibilities and uh, you can rule out the other possibilities right so now say here if this electron and this electron they have got opposite spins then definitely spin multiplicity it will be one singlet because uh, both the electrons are paired and uh, capital S it will be zero and multiplicity should be one or uh, this multiplicity can be worked out uh, simply by number of unpaired electrons plus one number of unpaired electrons zero therefore multiplicity it should be one fine then uh, if you compute the capital delta value plus one zero so that comes to zero sorry uh, there is a mistake here so plus one zero this should have been one so therefore the corresponding term it should be pi fine uh, then uh, for pi it is not uh, in fact necessary to write it to be plus or minus that is not necessary and further in this case uh, of course we can determine the parity say so this is g this is u this should have been u but in the option that has not been mentioned so that is not necessary here uh, corresponding option pi uh, singlet pi it is uh, uh, this first option and uh, this is the answer for this question right so you can just uh, try writing uh, with this particular electronic configuration um, definitely you can make sure that all these uh, terms involved they really they do not come right okay uh, so uh, these are the questions and i uh, hope uh, uh, you have enjoyed this video and uh, you have understood the solutions well i even assume that you have done all these questions correctly looking at my previous video uh, thank you for watching thank you again